In today's episode, we look at the bygone pipes arranged so purposefully, as well as the red tidal wave phenomenon that remains a mystery, and lastly, an alien-looking fossil in the desert. The bygone pipes. Let's be honest here, China isn't the most accommodating place, especially today. It's more industrial at this point. There are three mysterious triangular openings on top of a mountain with hundreds of ancient rusty iron pipes in that area, though, so hey, that's some interesting. While some go deep into the mountain, others go into a nearby saltwater lake. There are more pipes in this lake and more running east-west along the shore. The larger pipes measure 40 centimeters wide and have a uniform size. What makes this even more interesting is that these are all on purpose. Archaeologists say that the pipes date back to when humans were learning to cook meat without casting iron. Despite being older than Zeus, apparently, the pipes are clean of debris. This means that they were not just buried in the ground, but were also used for something else. As for the mountain, it's inhospitable to humans, and locals believe the pipes were used in ancient astronomy labs or spacecraft launching sites used by aliens. The Giant Stone Balls of Costa Rica Costa Rica and its surrounding areas are covered with giant stone balls. That's... They're smooth, they're spherical, and they're large, and also we're a family channel. Although some also are small and measure only a few inches, the large ones can weigh several tons. These orbs were chiseled to perfection by an unknown person, and to make matters even more enigmatic, Costa Rica was not scheduled to enter the Bronze Age until 2013. No one really knows what the true purpose of these orbs are. Some of them have been cracked open by locals hoping to find precious materials like gold, but not much has really been found in there. Some are too heavy to be moved, like I said, even with a bulldozer. Honestly, I don't know who built these, or if they actually even moved them, or if they simply built it and just left it there. Either way, we're probably never going to have a perfect answer to this question. The Baghdad Batteries The Baghdad Batteries represent a series of artifacts found in Mesopotamia. They date back to many centuries ago when Gozer the Gazarian was roaming the Earth. Researchers actually stumbled upon this finding and mistook them for old clay pots used for storage, but on closer examination, they found that they contained a copper rod that showed evidence of corrosion. This probably meant that the pots contained liquids that interacted with the copper and produced an electrical charge. If this speculation is true, these pots may actually be one of the first modern batteries around the world. The question now is what were these batteries used for? There's speculations that stone reliefs like the Dendera Light needed technologies like the Baghdad batteries to power them, but more recent explanations say the batteries were used for electroplating items with gold. Some others say that medicine men used the batteries to shock people by giving them the impression that they had mystical powers. These old batteries up to ancient Egypt for the first light bulb might be an interesting combo. The bloop. <laughs> the bloop. This finding is really going to blow your mind, and I promise that. 1997, something spectacular happened in science. That year, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration noticed strange sounds in the ocean. They were so loud that it was picked up by two separate microphones 3,000 miles apart. The sound was christened the bloop. It's called that because it does kind of sound a little dirty, sort of like a poop falling in a toilet. Judging by the wave pattern, though, an animal possibly made this sound and not any giant electromagnetic plane in the sky. But what animal did this? Even the biggest of blue whales probably couldn't actually make a sound this large. Well, if you're the internet, then you blame Cthulhu, the SCP Foundation, or just general conspiracy theories. Either way, not much of a good explanation here. The Red Tidal Wave Phenomenon 2013, an image of a red tidal wave towering across the Australian coast was released on the internet. It caused a big debate onto its nature and what it was. Some experts believed that it was a towering tsunami, and if this was true, the red coloring would result from a red tide algae bloom capable of causing the tsunami to be red. Another group of experts disagree with the first theory, saying that it would have left evidence if it was a tsunami. Although this doesn't discredit other theories explaining the phenomenon, it could be a real instance somewhere. There are actually countless examples of seawater turning red because of algae blooms, but one factor scientists haven't paid keen attention to is that this could result from a bushfire. A haboob or a giant sandstorm could also be the case here as well. Either way, we probably don't have a very good explanation. The Shroud of Turin Many have asked about the relationship between the Shroud of Turin and Jesus' burial cloth. This mystery remains one of the most controversial in Christianity. 
The shroud is a century-old linen cloth believed to be owned by a crucified man. The tricky fact here is that Jesus was not the only man crucified. Therefore, the claim that this linen could be his is a little dicey. The sepia-colored image of the face in the fabric looks questionable to some. For those who believe in it, it resembles Jesus Christ. In 1958, Pope Pius agreed with the masses by confirming that it in fact was the face of Jesus. The question that left us even more puzzled, though, is whether the linen was real or not. Honestly, it could have been an artist forgery who was hired to design the linen and get everybody talking. Whatever the goal here was, in the meantime, this shroud is kept at the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy. Whether you get to see it or not, I don't know, I've never been to Italy. The Anti-Kytherum Mechanism A returning entry from many of our lists, the Anti-Kytherum Mechanism is an ancient machine discovered in a shipwreck near Greece. It dates back to 100 BC and contains structures not found in devices that were a thousand years old. It was reportedly manufactured when Britain was more interested in taking its neighbor's stuff than actually just being, well, Britain. Despite that though, some do believe it also originates from Greece, but there's doubts all around. A recent study claims the machine was designed in Sicily. Aside from placing one at the risk of a damaged finger, it may have been used to figure out astronomical positions. The problem with this finding is that no one knew about the law of gravity when it was discovered. Therefore, all the alleged functions are only speculations. It is also possible it was multifunctional and had more uses than we could actually imagine. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The internet might be divided on a lot of information, however, you shouldn't gulp all the content you get from there without a grain of salt. Cat-like creature. I can tell you right now, this is more than likely Photoshop, especially with all the stories associated with this picture. Some say it's a baby werewolf, some say it's a baby cat, some say it's a weird science experiment that escaped from a lab, but most of all people genuinely agree, it's just kinda fake. The Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript is an ancient book that has remained a puzzle for scientists globally. It's not as though the writers scribbled meaningless text, but every word was laced with deep meaning. It's an organized book with a consistent script and detailed illustrations. Sadly though, there's no conclusive details about who wrote the book and when it was penned down. Expert codebreakers, mathematicians, linguists, and cryptographers have been called to examine it, but there's been no conclusive info about it. Not one person has actually deciphered a word from it, and there have been many suggestions on how to interpret the text. But sadly, it's yielded no positive results. Some actually say the original writer suffered from glossolalia, a condition where someone writes something they don't understand. Others simply say it's a hoax being played on us. We failed to consider that this script may have been written by an amateur English writer, though, who was struggling to find his feet in the language. Till then, it's still very cool and mysterious, though. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. He does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Alien looking fossil found in the desert. Fossils take us several years back into the past. It gives us a glimpse of the culture of our ancestors. Although the details of some fossils are easily discernible by looking at them, some others are a bit impossible to explain. One of these fossils is a tiny six inch tall creature found in the Chilean deserts in 2003. It had a unique giant eye socket and a stretched out head that left many wondering if it was simply an alien. 2018 though, researchers could get some answers concerning the mysteries of the desert. Several CT scans and x-rays showed the fossil was a human fetus. The only other shocking fact was that the bone structure was developed as that of a six-year-old. It was also marred with several abnormalities in the head and body. The skeleton also had many genetic mutations like scoliosis and dwarfism. Needless to say, these mutations are still puzzling scientists to this very day. See you all next time!